It's a device that's 20 years in the making. A bionic eye was approved by the FDA earlier this year, and now 12 hospitals across the country are now allowed to implant the device, including university hospitals right here in Cleveland. It's the first time where we have the ability to restore vision in these even in these very advanced cases. University yeah, Hospital's Dr. Super Wong says it's one of the in biggest medical trials, breakthroughs in history, in and it's all due to a bionic eye called the Argus 2. The device is now approved to treat patients with a rare genetic disorder, retinitis pigmentosa. According to the National Eye Institute, a person with normal vision can see like this, but with retinitis pigmentosa, a person may have perfect vision, but eventually will get tunnel vision that narrows until they see nothing at all. Argus 2 works similar to a wireless video camera. A pair of sunglasses has a tiny camera that will record data, which is then transmitted to the bionic eye, giving a patient vision. Some individuals have even been able to see large letters, one letters, two letters, even short words. They can now see faces, they can see movement. Cleveland Sight Center President Stephen Freeman said the Argus 2 will drastically improve the lifestyle of patients and their caregivers. The Sight Center is partnering with UH to rehabilitate patients. They can participate in everyday living in a way that they hadn't before. Surgery and therapy will cost about $100,000 and is only for patients with the worst cases of the disorder. For someone who has been blind, even pitch black blind for decades, it's a very moving thing and a great advance. And while the device is only approved to treat people with retinitis pigmentosa, Dr. Wong says the hope is that as the technology advances, it will be used to treat other people who are visually impaired. In Cleveland, Annette Lawless, Fox 8 News.